Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on January 22nd, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew. Looking at space weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes from around the world. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun. Looking at an incoming sunspot region there. And as well, cresting active sunspot region as well. But this is the same active sunspot that's been going around twice now. Also looking at outgoing images here. Large plasma filaments erecting. You can see them here on 304 angstroms. Right there. Not Earth directed. This is an outgoing position. Only thing that we have to worry about is this Earth facing coronal hole. And as well the sunspot that is earth facing now and then in the coming days we will be watching that cresting sunspot looking here it's still pretty active but not fiery thank god because it is at an earth facing position right now let's have a look at our real-time solar wind data as we are sitting at about 346 kilometers per second and that's up from our 250 the other day but still very calm for solar wind. Looking here at Alaska Oak Coronagraph, not much space weather to see here either, but we do happen to see and catch the little sun diving comet there. Southwestern quadrant moving in towards the sun. We've seen quite a few of those recently, sun diving comets. And look at our Schumann residence for today, power of 6,000. Like, what does that even mean? I don't even know what's going on here, guys. If anybody else knows, please get in the comments section. And let me know what's up with the Schumann resonance. Because we are at a power of 6 and a quality of 7.2. Have a look at our earthquakes last 24 hours as it's been very busy. Most recent here, 5.0 in China. And as well, that was followed where before earlier, there was a 4.5, same region. And then all across the world here, fours, 4.4, 4.7 there, Japan, Guam, Mariana's Trench, 4.8, Philippines, 4.8, 4.6, all across the world, it looks like. Every continent shaking in the last 24 to 48 hours. 4.0 there in Iran, 4.4 in Fry, Greece, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, popping off two 5.0 earthquakes today north mid-atlantic ridge also seeing some seismicity still in parts of the virgin islands and north of dominican republic everything seems to be a shifted northeast looking here 4.4 and at 4.3 guatemala right by pacaya and fuego two very active volcanoes right now looking across the west coast Active as well, 2.9 there in Idaho. And as well, what is that? Georgetown, Georgetown, Idaho, 2.9. And as well, some minor earthquakes throughout California, BC, or Mexico border. And as well, Salton City, 2.9. So pretty active across the North American plate as well. A lot of minor rumbles. Overlooking Alaska. Minor rumbles is there as well there. Hawaii, most recently 2.6. And then the largest earthquake last 24 hours, 5.4. Kermadec Islands, north of New Zealand. 4.4 there, Pacific Ridge. 
have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes as yes it is busy and we had that large 7.0 earthquake the other day in philippines devastating earthquake throughout the philippines and indonesia recently lots of damaged buildings people losing their homes Having a look around the world right now, very active. It looks like a pin cushion. And I also I wanted to point out here, which wasn't on the 24 hour map recorded yesterday, was a 4.4 in Zambia, Africa. And that doesn't happen often either. So definitely a notable earthquake for the last 48 hours. And again, I want to thank all of the new friends and family from around the world, thank you for joining Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, keeping you aware and prepared to the constant changes on our planet and natural disasters unfolding across our planet. Thoughts and prayers to humanity, and God bless you. Having a look here, Pacific Disaster Center, most recent volcanoes being updated. Manam, uh, Pakaya, Suisunajima in Japan, Reventador, Ecuador, Rang in Indonesia, Popopketo, Klutchevskoy, and Senge, Santa Maria. So there's about 10 volcanoes just updated today. As well, winter storm conditions continuing parts of northern Alaska, and then we'll be moving southward in the long range forecast coming quickly. Tropical cyclone Eloise is still. On the, on the shoreline of Mozambique. Many, people's, many people have lost their homes and livelihoods already due to the floods. And it is going to continue over the next few days. Thoughts and prayers to everybody being affected by these tropical storms. Also two other tropical storms alive right now, North Australia and as well middle of the Indian Ocean. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Media Earth, Media Mike, starting out here looking home base Calgary, Alberta, as you can watch, those temperatures are plummeting in the five day forecast. By the end of it, we're going to be sitting at minus 18 degrees Celsius throughout parts of Alberta, but not much moisture to talk about. Still, this high pressure ridge from the north coming in, bringing a lot of dry air, and it's just really sucking everything up. Nothing is falling except for higher elevations, Midwestern United States and of course in the south. Now, definitely the forecast has changed since two days ago with this low pressure system. It should have been through last night, but now it's just, there's a low pressure system running down the coastline here and watch for extreme weather across the coast as this low pressure system moves in Tuesday to Thursday. Watch for heavy snow and very strong winds and cold temperatures following in behind it, and nobody will be left behind. That includes you, Mr. Bottle Caps, down in Texada Island. That's right. Have a look at this forecast for you, my friend. There's definitely some snow coming. It may miss you, you know, being in the middle of all that warm water, but definitely some winter coming to the coastline. The rest of the country, pretty much dry. Except for the Atlantic province here, watch for a low pressure system to come spinning back from the Atlantic to Newfoundland. Massive low pressure system in the Atlantic. Just unbelievable what's happening to our planet right now. We've got three massive low pressure systems still spinning across the northern hemisphere. Starting to break up into little low pressure cells across Europe. Watch for later in the week for that to move eastward into Turkey and yeah, eastward into Saudi Arabia. And watch for heavy snow on the backside and some cold temperatures, definitely. Overlooking Russia and Asia, as you can see here, temperatures are still plummeting over there as well. Minus 60 to minus 65 in some places. I saw some horrible, saddening, saddening pictures I don't even want to share here, but there were literally wild dogs frozen in time, standing up, dog, tongues hanging out of their mouth, breathing, just 
so sad. Extreme weather galore. Overlooking Indonesia and Malaysia, Papua New Guinea. Monsoon rains to continue. Overlooking Australia. Watch for a low pressure system to go through this week and another one to head into the north part of the continent and then across Africa. Now, this is going to be quite a situation. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who will be affected by all of this rain coming to South Africa over the next five days. It doesn't look like they're going to see the sun over the next five days. Parts of South Africa. Tons of moisture. So watch for flash flooding conditions throughout South Africa and as well stormy conditions. Same kind of situation developing here in South America, Chile, Argentina border. Large low pressure system there affecting them. Daily evaporation rains across, across uh, the northern parts of South America. And we'll just have a quick look here at the southern hemisphere versus the northern pointing out the larger and more potential low pressure systems strong vigorous and massive and it's continuing and they are getting bigger i hope you all enjoyed today's video please share this with your friends and family and if you enjoyed it please hit the like button I appreciate you watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Look at the size of this system in the Pacific. Very strong winds. Tight isobars. Stay aware and prepared. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.